what actually makes a good software engineer? So we know there's a lot of software engineers out there. We know we have this notion in our minds that the market is so, so saturated, but you'd be surprised to find out that the market is saturated with a lot of subpar developers, meaning that there are plenty of room for good programmers out there. The thing is, is what makes a good programmer? What makes you someone that employers can look at and want to hire? So here's the thing, you hear about what's called a 10X developer and it's a super Sigma programmer, can knock out problems all by himself, doesn't need anybody, he's a wizard, he solves problems that are complex beyond the limits of any other programmers. They usually write assembly code for fun. They're just freaking awesome, okay? Surprisingly, that's not the developer you need to strive to be. Now, give me a second to explain. Those kinds of people are usually one in a million, right? You're not gonna find 10X developers everywhere. They have a unique way of thinking that just most of us don't have. Let's be realistic. I'll admit, I don't think the way that a 10X developer would think either. And if you have someone who's already like that on the team, they don't usually want another one. So what are employers actually looking for when it comes to programmers? First of all, understand this. Coding is not just about writing script and writing code. The best way to stand out as a programmer and to be someone that employers can look at and want on their team is to be a team player, to understand critical thinking skills and, this is a big and here, to be able to bring more to the table than just tech skills. You see, the days of lone wolfing programming are over. Companies need people who are able to work well within a team, which means that your focus not only needs to be coding and technical skills, but also soft skills like communication skills. Communication doesn't just apply with how you speak to someone or how you speak to a team member, but it also applies even within your code. There are so many instances where software engineers write code that can be understood by their fellow teammates and fellow programmers. And then that person becomes the only person who can work on this thing. And that's not the title you want to have. If that person had to go on vacation for a week, you'd leave the entire team not knowing what to do. And that's something that employers aren't going to look for. So ask yourself this, how much time are you spending on learning how to write proper documentation? How much time are you spending on making sure your comments are legible, not only for yourself, but for others around you? Are you implementing clean code principles? Are you following the guidelines that industries can bring you on and your team is easily able to work with you? Communication and the ability to work with others is exactly what employers want to see. You have to understand that software engineering is no longer about becoming the lone wolf and writing code in your basement. You're gonna be working with a team and you're gonna be working with other developers from your basement. And it's awesome, but you have to be able to communicate and navigate with the team. You need to be able to write code that is maintainable, scalable, and easy to understand. And this isn't something that, and usually this isn't something that you can learn on your own. You need to be making sure you're following the appropriate resources and staying in line with what you need and what the companies that you're looking to get hired at need. So if you're looking to become a programmer in 2024, this is how you do it. This is how you stand out from the oversaturation of the field. And this is how you land a job in 2024 as a programmer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Jake the Programmer, peace.